866 LBZ Dirty Max. Hi everybody, good day to you. We're going back to my 2007 Chevrolet Silverado 3500. It has 210,680 miles on the odometer. 6.6 liter Duramax. And we are here because my right rear window glass fell out the other day and is being held on with tape. So my blue tape is still hanging in there pretty good. I knew it was good tape because it's blue. So uh, it was possible to uh, have this repaired last week but I wanted to wait the extra time to get the uh, OE Delco original equipment regulator rather than the, uh, the aftermarket break pretty soon regulator. More tape. There we go. Beautiful, look at that. Okay, doors open, panels kind of prepped. Let's get this thing apart. I do believe that there is a fastener behind here. I did this job a few months ago on the other side over there. Yeah, no, there is no fastener here. Okay, then that means there's one down here. There's just the one. Yeah, just one down here. The rest of it's held on with clips. Gravity, come here. Come out. You go right there. Now, if memory serves, I believe that this panel uh, slips in and hooks and then goes down into slots. It's got tabs on the end of the panel, inside of the panel, that hook in. And it should just come up and out, I think. Yeah, that's about right. Something's hanging it up. What is this? Is there another bolt that I missed? Yeah, yeah, there is. It's hiding. Right back in there. See that right there? You sneaky little guy. Let's get you out of there. Yeah, I knew there was one. I could feel it. Come out, please. Come here. Oh no, I can't get it. What have I done? There she is. Yes, victory. Okay, now let's flippy flop this around and uh, disconnect this connector here. Unclick. All right, let's pull this uh, plastic business off of here. I'm trying to keep the sticky stuff in check. I have to reuse it. Plastics are my least favorite thing to touch on a car. Just had to throw that in there. Here. Okay, panel's exposed. Let's see what's going on here. Looks like I can't see. Let's let the window down. Removing tape now.
I uh, do believe that this speaker's in the way. But even if it's not, I'm gonna pull it out. For now. Bose audio. There we go. All right, what do we got going on here? Yeah, it's got a broken cable. Yep, I feel it. It's right down here. Cable's broken. Okay, let's finish pulling the window down. Beginning tape removal process now. Step, let's unplug the motor and then we will unbolt the motor then we will remove the regulator there's one more up here hiding. And another one up high right here. But Okay, so the regulator is loose. The tracks are loose from the door. However, we have to get the glass loose from the tracks. And those bolted on over here. There's a bracket on the track that just kind of squeezes the glass and it's tight with this nut right here. Pull back that loose. And there's another one off to the left. Okay, the glass is free. Now, this glass is tinted, so I don't want to scratch it. Uh, that being said, I'm going to go ahead and pull this trim out, and then we're just going to remove the glass for now. Because I'm really not interested in scratching up my, uh, my tint. Because that would upset me a great deal. And I've also got some uh, suction cups on a string as a backup. So we're going to put those on right now. One side goes on the outside of the glass, the other side goes on the inside of the glass. And that will support the glass. Do that two times. Okay. Okay, with the glass up high and safe, we can now pull this assembly out. tilt everything this way and then walk it out through this hole right here. This hole. And then we can see where it failed. Yeah, just as I had suspected. The suffered cable failure. Yeah, the cable came off one of the pulleys down here. And then, uh, it all came apart. It's too bad. New regulating unit is going in the same way the old regulating unit came out. A little bit sideways. Need to take the bolts loose so they slip in through their little keyholes there. Dude, second one, 
good. And see that comes through right there. Same on the side here. Move wire. Package. There we go. Nice. Okay, now I can back these clamps loose. It will lower the glass down into their, uh, their little mounts there. Open. That's good. Let's secure the glass next. I would hate to forget that. They don't need to be super tight, just enough to squeeze. All right, glass, coming down. Nice. Good. Package. And we need a bolt here. I choose this one. No. No, no, no. I choose this one. That's the odd man out. Here, I can hang my speaker again. We'll put that back on. That's, what is it, three bolts? Yeah, three. Forgot to plug it in. I'm dumb. No worries. I can reach it. This would have been easier if I had remembered. But I did not, so I'll do it the, the hardest way imaginable. Flip. All right. Handle that little problem. Okay, time for my little plastic weather strip deal here, or weather seal. Let's see, gotta get the rod through. That goes like so. Mm, wrong hole. Here. Yeah, there we go. Now we got her. Ah, oh, there's leaves on my sticky stuff. Gross. Okay, that'll do. Let's hang the panel. And I'm just forgetting everything. I forgot the door handle too. What's wrong with me? Coffee must not be effective yet. Doo -doo -doo. There. And one bolt for that. I choose this one. I don't think it's coming out, but. Okay, now let's hang the door panel. Okay, let's stick the window trim back in, or the seal rather. That just clips on, and then the panel will clip on and over this trim, and it's got all these clips inside which will reach into the door panel, and the whole panel will slide down and latch into place. Those are all lined up on that side, good. How's this side over here? Not yet. Yeah, that's good, there. And then down. 
pull the unit good down force there. I think we got it. Yep, the little bolt holes aligned, we got it. Click. And one more at the bottom. Get in there, please. What are we doing? Let's go key it on, see how it works. Powering on. What? Oh, I'm done. I left the child lock on. I forgot the kids were in the truck this weekend. And the survey says, victory, nice. Oh, wonderful. Cool. Well, that's success. Now I have to uh, get rid of all the tape and then the tape goo, all that other good stuff. I hate window tape. And door panel sweat, gross. Even when it's mine. Yes, I have two bolts left over, but do not forget that the new regulator came with two extra bolts. So I've got some adhesive remover here. I'm gonna throw this on here and just like let it soak, see what happens. Maybe this will break it up. Maybe it won't. We're gonna find out. Watch, I'll come back in five minutes and the paint will just be running off the side of the truck. How horrible. Hmm, that kind of works. Gonna need some scrubbing on the paint though. Yeah, see that there. I'll have to come back and get that again. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, it's pretty nasty here. It's stuck on. Don't make me get the brake cleaner out. I'll do it. I was hoping that stuff would be really good. Like Goo Gone level good because I need to get all this adhesive off here. Like I said, I've got a set of uh, new window guards for this thing. These are junk. Okay, so I think I might have an idea on how to get this off. I'm gonna hit it with the heat gun and get it nice and soft, and then I'm gonna come through with this trim tool. It's kind of blunt with these rounded edges, and I'm hoping I can just scrape away all the adhesive without like getting into my paint. Yeah, it might work, it might not. We're gonna find out. Yeah, I needed a harder tool. That one was just too soft for what I'm trying to do here. Not exactly perfect but it's smooth and flush and the rest of the residue that is not coming off is probably going to be okay if it stays there because i'm just going to stick more adhesive trim right back on top of this and this is all pretty flat i don't want to dig into the paint trying to scrape it off so i'm good with what we've got right here so these uh these window guards right here these were actually an impulse buy um I saw them on the shelf and I figured, if I, well, I knew mine were broken and I figured while I was here, I might as well pick them up. Whoa, stuff gravity. Lots of stuff gravity. Oh. oh, what did I drop? Everything. Because I had it sitting on cardboard. Smart man today, Ray. Forgetting stuff, dropping stuff, losing stuff. Oh, 
Oh goodness. Wrong you. Anyway, as I was saying, these uh, these should fit. They claim they're for an up to 06 2500 Silverado, uh, but um, the 2500s and the 3500s and the 1500s all had the same chassis. So I don't I don't know what the deal is with that. But uh, let's go ahead and open them up and see if they actually do fit. Yeah, this goes. I'm thinking. All right, we've got this little lip or notch right here that's supposed to fit behind the mirror. So we'll test fit this before I pull all the sticky stuff off. Just to make sure it does fit. And uh, oh yeah, that's gonna fit nicely. This is good. And the whole thing is back with like a 3M double-sided tape. So let's pull all that off and uh, get this thing attached. I've already made sure that all the residue and liquid is cleaned off of that uh, surface that I just prepped. I want to get this little notch in first. Just once that tape sticks, it's over with, that's it. I think that's home right there. Okay, we're committed. That's it. No going back. It's on. Ding! Text message. One down. Three to go. That's pretty. I like it. Okay. I want to go ahead and soak this whole rear door again. We try to break up as much of this tape adhesive and uh, other adhesive and any other bit of stickies that are here. Just, I'm just going to keep soaking it until the stuff falls off. Another application. Window shiny. Yep, and I'll spray it again and peel another layer and then spray it again and peel another layer. There's a couple stubborn spots in there. Got this one. And on a side note, after doing that Jaguar headliner the other day, I kind of feel like I should get mine redone. It's, uh, it's sagging pretty bad. Yeah, no amount of glue is going to fix that. You know what? It has occurred to me while we're here, I can put on my Allison Dirty Max badges that I got. I completely forgot that I had those. But right now seems like a good time while I'm doing this kind of work. Oh, yeah. I'm probably going to have to find a replacement badge that will match this new one that's going on, but we can do that later. all that nasty off of there. Bro, you hear me? I caught a mouse, look. <laughs> <laughs> okay, moving around to the driver's side, I did stick uh, this other Dirty Max logo on, and I've got the, uh, the window guard on the left rear. I still have to do this one right here. Yeah, look at that. That's that's junk. Now it's really junk. It's compound junk. Yeah, I think we can finish up with the uh, the switch and we'll be good to go. It's actually a little harder than it looks. Like it's easy and it's not easy. Ooh, I found a rubbing through spot right there. Damaging my paint. No. This is vintage GM paint. It's like the last of the Mohicans before it started flaking off. 
That's still okay to say, last of the Mohicans. It was a term used in the 90s to describe the, uh, the very, very last of something very specific in reference to the uh, Mohican tribe. I think I may have violated a racism rule by saying that. And I didn't mean to be. Or no, I was referring to a movie. There you go. It's a movie. It's not racist. It's a title. There. Problem solved. Sticky goo on my truck. There. Okay, I think this is as good is that is going to get yeah that stuff's in there pretty deep it can stay i do not like how this looks without the uh the window guards on it i don't like it at all it bothers me okay last rain deflector of the project i've already pulled the uh tape off of it i replaced the left rear when you guys weren't looking slips behind the mirror Good. And I'm eyeballing the line in comparison to the old tape line. And I think got the spot right here. We're good. That's the new home. That's perfect. I like it. Good, 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 good. And how's the body line look? It looks good too. Yep, matches the other side. This is beautiful, I like it. Okay, that's good to go. Let's uh, see what I can do about getting this uh, switch popped in and out real quick. Like, I think I've gotta pull the, the gauge bezel off of it. So let's, uh, let's turn that stupid chime off. I don't remember if I mentioned it earlier, but I also have to replace the fog light switch. It has melted inside and is no longer functioning as designed. And we'll lower the column all the way down. Parking brake. Because we need to throw this thing into neutral. Or farther down in gear. In order to remove the bezel. a tug and a tug it just kind of clips on another tug come out of there oh my little switch it's hanging me up how did i wire that well hmm i wonder if i can just sneak that switch out without pulling this thing out all the way let's try that How do we clip on? I think it just kind of presses in. Just like that. Oh no, I'm, I'm gonna have to remove this thing all the way. It's uh, not cool. Okay, I'll just unplug the wires. Black on top, and then red in the middle, and then the other red uh, down below. <sighs> Hope uh, I don't get this backwards later. I might not have response back on your battery. Yeah. Who are you talking to me? No, no I'm Oh, well then why are you talking to me? If he's not, then why was he here talking? To me. Well, where'd you come from? EJ's doing tires right now. Okay, so according to the new switch, uh, there's some kind of tab that retains it. And I think I can see it right down there. Let me just depress that a little bit. You see it? Here, yeah, pop that out. So, there should be another one down at the bottom. Let's unclip that one. Kaka? What? Good. 
Why are you not coming out of there? What is this? Come out, darn you. Yeah, we're getting somewhere now. No breakage. Score. Does it work? Let's find out. Let's see, the fog lights on. Hey, they're on. Okay, it works. Good to go. Fog lights off. Key off, powering down. Quick update, saw earlier the windows are, uh, the window's done now, that thing works again. This is the first tank of uh, non-treated oxytane fuel. Well, first, uh, well, a third of a tank maybe. Yeah, it looks like a third of a tank. And we've actually got improved fuel economy. Uh, however, I've noticed since switching back to the non-oxytane treated, my, uh, my uh, high-end and mid-range throttle response is slightly lessened, so that there's definitely something going on with that treatment, and it does have an effect. Anyway, that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, close this one out. It's getting kind of loud and stormy and whatnot around here. And I can't see anything through the rain. So as always, hope you enjoyed this video. So again, and as always, thank you for watching most importantly, do not forget to have yourselves a great day. See you guys later. End of transmission.